Hey what's up everybody, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to compare the top 5 Reddit apps for Android. Now Reddit already has a nice mobile site, but the experience you get with a full on app is a lot more immersive. And if you ask around, you almost always see the same 5 apps recommended as the best Reddit clients for Android. So the contestants are Bacon Reader, Now for Reddit, Reddit is Fun, Relay for Reddit, and Sync for Reddit. I'll get started with Bacon Reader first. This one has a pretty straightforward interface where tapping a post title takes you to the comment section and tapping a thumbnail takes you to the link. Subreddits can be accessed through a drop down menu at the top of the screen and a second action bar at the bottom gives you quick access to common tools. For the most part, Bacon Reader uses Android's WebView plugin to display links, but YouTube videos, for instance, will open in an external app. You've got a couple of gestures and a unique full screen mode feature to make browsing a bit easier, and you can buy the Pro version for $1.99 if you want to remove the ads. Next, we have Now for Reddit. The interface here is unique in the fact that you can swipe left or right to flip between your various subreddits. You can also use the side navigation menu to accomplish the same task, and various other material design elements have been added throughout the app. By default, this actually pulls the subreddit header image to theme the action bar, but you can disable that option and use a full RGB color picker if you'd rather go that route. Now has an in-app viewer that is capable of handling most image and video links on Reddit, which works quite nicely with its Reddit TV support. If you want to get rid of the ads, the Pro version will run you $2.49, but now for Reddit is definitely a solid option. Our third option in alphabetical order goes by the name of Reddit is Fun. This one started out as a port of Reddit Sync, but it has since evolved to have its own unique design. At first glance, this app resembles Reddit's official interface more than any other, but several material design elements have been sprinkled in here and there. You can switch between your subreddits using the side navigation panel, but most links will open in WebView instead of a pop-up viewer. One of the unique features here is that you can log into your Syncit account for cross-device browsing history, and ads can be removed for $1.99. Up next we have Relay for Reddit, which is the most gesture-oriented Reddit client out there. You can swipe to do just about anything, swipe a post for more options, swipe up when viewing a link to expand the comments, and even the share menu is swipeable. To navigate between subs, you've got a drop-down menu at the top of the screen. While that may not be in line with material design standards, the rest of the app has a lot of material elements and animations. Relay has a native pop-up viewer for most of the common media sharing sites used on Reddit, and ads can be removed for $2.99. Last but not least comes Sync for Reddit. This app is dripping with material design, so if you're a fan of modern Android app styling, you'll love the interface. Sync supports more link types in its native viewer than any other app on this list, but users can opt to open links externally if they want. Subreddit switching is done through the side navigation menu, and Sync actually gets its name because it allows you to download 10 pages of subreddits for offline use. You can theme the interface with quite a few different colors and backgrounds, and ads can be removed for $3.49. So each of these apps has its own unique features as well as its strengths and weaknesses, and I went into a lot more detail on those over at the full tutorial, so there's more reading material if you want it. Honestly though, I think there's a clear cut winner here, but I don't want to spoil the article, so be sure to check that out on Gadget Hacks to see my final verdict. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.